so Flag Aid is an activism group that is very well known and also sort of very well hated um, because there's been a lot of controversy within the group and a sort of arguments made against them. Recently they've made a video that was of young girls dressed as secondhand Disney princesses sort of dropping many F-bombs and having a bit of attitude. And whilst I can just go on and talk about the entire video, I want to address um, one of the segments, which was the rape and violence um, segment. So I'm not going to go into any more. What I'm going to do is just play a bit of the video and then I'm going to come in and commentate and just sort of a normal commentary, except I'm going to be doing it on camera. So this is the rape and violence segment from the Fuck 8 video. Rape and violence fucked up fact. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped by a man. One. Two, three, four, five. Which one of us will it be? Now this is a story statistic that is sort of hard to argue with because a lot of people have thrown out these sort of statistics and percentages and numbers and whatever. So let's just say that that's the idea that one in five women are, are um, going to be victims of rape. So let's just go with that. I want to talk about the fact that they said at the very end that it would be by men. I want people to keep this in mind because they're going to bring this up again a bit later on. So, just keep that in mind. So how many more women have to get knocked down before society stands up and stops it? This sort of makes it sound like the society is not doing anything to prevent rape at all. It's just sort of, everyone's not giving a shit about it. But I constantly see, like, sort of articles about how government and, um, inventors and society and scientists and all these people are actually finding ways and creating things to help stop rape or at least sort of lower down the number of victims each year. Um, I'm going to be leaving some links in the description, uh, one being of uh, the uh, the date rape nail polish and uh, the sort of female condom that has teeth that prevents sort of people wanting to have forced sex to those women and also sort of how there's classes and stuff about teaching women how to to protect themselves so you know there is people doing stuff to stop it but another problem is that when people do they get shot down by the people who want rape to stop another thing is that I noticed the way that you guys talk about the video with these girls having a sort of attitude towards it. It's like, hey guys, I got attitude, we're little kids and we can say half bombs and like we got attitude. Which it goes out for the entire video. Um and I don't like that in the way that you talking about rape and violence with that sort of attitude. I mean, I could have done this conversation the normal way. I could have had a um an anime icon and sort of made mockery of the video at the same time, like, oh yeah, I'm jazzy, I'm, I'm a Welsh guy that's being a little asshole, yeah. But I didn't, because I do respect the the subject that we're talking about, and I feel that it must be treated in such a way, but that's just me. Um, I'm sure people will disagree, but the way that you guys are talking about it, this sort of, I don't think it's right. But that's just me, I guess. Here's a hot tip. Stop telling girls how to dress and start teaching boys not to fucking rape. This is an argument I've really grown to despise and hate. Not because I don't agree with it. In fact, I do think we should be more educative towards rape because as far as I remember, I wasn't taught anything about rape. So I think that schools need to actually sort of talk about the issue of rape and why it's bad and why people shouldn't do it. But, there's a few problems I have with this argument as well. First of all, it's only saying that we should teach guys not to rape. Which gives a stereotype that men are prone to being rape rapists. This sort of stereotype. Which is funny because feminism has said that they want to stop stereotypes, yet they're those who are creating stereotypes for the other gender. So, we're just sort of doing this thing of fighting fire with fire, which doesn't really work in this case. Um, and if you really want to be more educative or brave, then it shouldn't just be towards one gender, it should be both genders, because both genders are known for being rapists. There are male and female rapists that are in jail or still out there. So why is it then that everyone of these people always come to the concept of we should only teach boys not to rape. Why is that, I ask? Another problem I have 
I'm going to create a scenario for it. Let's say that we do do this. Let's say that in every school in the, in the entire world, um, boys are told that rape is bad, that you shouldn't do it, that it's um, we should teach you how not to rape and stuff like that. So we do that now, and every school is teaching boys not to rape. <laughs> However, later on, rape still happens. It's still a big thing in the news, and everyone's still worried about it. What do we do then? Because this idea of teach boys not to rape is always the first thing that, that people come to when they say we should do rape prevention. And that's it. They usually just go to that. So what happens then is that what if that doesn't work? Because this is something that I've learned. You can teach someone that something is bad, but that doesn't mean they're not going to do it. Okay, we you don't need to be, go to school to know that murder is bad. You don't need to go to school to know that that robbery is bad because people do do that in the news. You hear it in the news all the time, and we've got TV shows talking about it. And yet, we're still getting news reports about someone being killed or a place being robbed or murderers and robbers going to prison. Even though we're told about this all the time that rape is bad, no murder is bad. I'm sorry, but murder and robbery is bad, and yet people still do it. You can tell someone, you can drill it into their heads that something is bad. But some people don't care. Some people will still do it, no matter what. We're glad a women's right to vote is here! But equality's next step is walking to the car without fear! And that's when the entire segment off, they always go about this case of how women can't leave the house without the fear of being attacked. Which sort of gives the stereotype that women are fragile little creatures that must be protected by the strong and powerful will of feminism. Which is funny because I've seen women say that they don't need feminism and then get attacked for it. It's kind of... Sort of... Interesting, I feel. But... They say that women cannot live out in the outside world because they're fragile little creatures. That's also giving a stereotype, which is... Something that you guys are trying to break away. You're basically doing what Hollywood movies are saying. You're basically saying, oh, women are fragile creatures. Creatures that must be protected at all costs. It sounds like a Hollywood movie, basically. The final thing I want to know is that near the end of the video, you then start to sell, like, say, you can buy these t-shirts at our stores and stuff like that, and you can give money to us. That's a very interesting ending because it just sort of gives me the idea that you don't care about what you think. You just want to sell out your products and gain money. Which is funny because people have actually pointed you out for that. So uh, what I've done is basically give you publicity with this. Um, which, I, which, when I think about it, is exactly what you wanted. You made that video to get publicity and to get people on your side to give you money um, to support your activism. You basically did a good job in manipulation, and I applaud you for that. I'm sickened by that, but I do applaud you for it. Well done.